from Manipur. We are now learning the Ministry of Home Affairs has approved a package worth 101.75 crore rupees for the displaced people who were affected due to the violence in Manipur. Remember, the Home Minister also visited the state and this uh, decision also by the MHA has arrived soon after the Home Minister Amit Shah was visiting the state. Uh, in the last 48 hours, it was being reported that normalcy was beginning uh, to be restored in the state. But now we've just received news that one of the BJP MLAs has been uh, attacked. Her residence uh, was in fact targeted uh, by some unidentified miscreants. But as of now, we're also learning that the MHA has approved this package worth 101.75 crore rupees. Remember, several thousands have been displaced uh, in Manipur due to the violence that took place for over a month. Arunima joins me on the phone line. Arunima, close to 10,000 IDPs have crossed over to neighboring state of Mizoram. The question now arises, will this package be able to ensure that uh, these displaced persons are adequately sheltered and profiled? Just one step that is being taken, various other steps have also been initiated. Mm. For example, people who are there and at various police camps beside their Manipur, be it in Impala, be it in the hills, uh, attempts have been made to ensure that they get their regular supplies. Uh, the National Highway, which was blocked uh, for some time, this is uh, National Highway 37, uh, which carries essentials uh, to the length and breadth of the state. Uh, NH 37 has been opened up and the uh, Ministry of Home Affairs, uh, as well as Manipur government's uh, advisor, Kuldeep Singh, uh, they tell us uh, that 295 vehicles have moved today with essential supplies. Uh, along with that, steps are being taken security-wise so that arms and ammunition that were looted from the Treasury are brought back. People surrender arms and ammunition. Of course, there are some concerns uh, that people have about their security. And right. the security forces, by meeting them, are trying to address this. Arunima, what are the challenges ahead for the central and state uh, forces? Because we've just received news of a BJP MLA being targeted and we are learning of reports that several politicians from the Kuki community and the BJP are being targeted at the moment. Yes, mostly this MLA of BJP who was targeted. Uh, there was no casualty, no injury. The IED, we are told, uh, just fell outside uh, the gate of, of uh, her residence. So uh, that's some good news. And the last 48 hours, uh, before this incident happened, went off without any major incident of violence. Um, so things are very tense. Uh, they're on the edge, but uh, the security grid is trying to instill confidence. That's the biggest challenge. Uh, this is a polarized situation in Manipur right now. People do not have confidence in each other. You know, neighbors who lived close to each other for decades now don't, don't trust each other. So till the time that confidence is restored, confidence in the administration is restored, it's going to be difficult. Added to the mix are groups, right. vigilante groups, militant groups from both sides who are making matters even more difficult. All right. Many thanks to you, Arun.